Hi everyone, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bee Company and I'm going to show you how to finish off a loom bracelet. We've done some online videos, you can check them out using the Rick's Beading Loom. This bracelet was made using the Rick's Beading Loom and 6mm check glass beads, just a variety of color, kind of no shape or no pattern whatsoever. And I'm going to show you how to attach a tube clasp. So with other threads, you may, or with other looms, you may have more warp threads. Um, with the Rick's loom, the nice thing is I only have two warp threads that are coming down at the end here. Most traditional, I would have however many threads are in between my beads. So with this one, what I'm going to do is after I take it off the loom, I kind of push the warp threads here that you see on the sides. I kind of push them down and they will kind of shrink up and you won't see them as much. What I'm going to do is take my warp thread that was on the side here and my starting thread and I'm going to tie those in a knot together. That's going to be on the side of your bracelet. I'm going to leave those tails on because I'll come back and I can work on them. So right now what I'm going to do is I have my needle and I've attached it to one of my original warp threads. And what I'm going to do is sew on this clasp. So I'm going to sew through my check glass bead and I'm going to come out that teal bead because that's going to be about the size of my clasp. So I could have used a longer bar clasp here, but this will show that you don't necessarily have to have as many loops as you do rows. So you can use whatever clasp I could attach um, a different clasp on there. I'm going to sew through the bar clasp and then I'm going to sew through my next check glass bead. And that's going to be the first initial grab that it's going to have. I'm going to pick up the next loop, sew through the next check glass bead and continue this on the whole length of the bracelet. Pick up the next one, sew through the next. When I get to the end here, what I'm going to do is go through the last hole and sew back the opposite way. So I'm going through the last hole of the bar clasp and I'm going to, you can see the little loop there, I'm going to sew through the check glass bead. Whenever you're attaching a clasp, um, with thread, you always want to make sure to reinforce it. What I mean by that is that you're going to sew back through it multiple times. So it's not just one piece of thread that's supporting the clasp. It's multiple threads that are supporting the clasp. I'm going to continue sewing back here. If I didn't want to see the thread a lot because this is a larger loom project, um, if you're using 11 OC beads, you're really not going to th see the thread much because they're smaller. Um, but with these, if I wanted to, I could have thrown some extra little C beads on the side here. And I'm just sewing again up and through. And through. And then I'm going to sew back through those three beads again. And every time I come out one of the beads, I am grabbing on. Coming out. Sewing through the check glass bead. I continue this for my whole length of my project. Give it a nice little pull. Sew through. Come out the next bead. And then to end it here, what I'm going to do is sew through my clasp and then sew down through the next two check glass beads. Give it a nice tight pull. That's going to attach my clasp. And then what I'm going to do here is knot it onto these warp threads. I'm going to take my thread and needle then back through one of my rows just to kind of hide those ends. And I'm going to burn these thread ends off with a thread burner. And I'm going to flip around and I'll show you how to attach the other side, which is pretty similar to the first end. side. Um, with the Rick's loom, I only, when I get to the other side, I actually only have one thread hanging out. Um, if I do have multiple threads hanging out, what I want to do, especially if I'm using a larger bead like this, is kind of tie those off together, feeding one through, tying it, tying it. You can also do a row of um, seed beads here on the side and just do almost a ladder stitch with them back through your check glass beads, back through the seed beads, back through the check glass, and then you can tie off your extra warp threads onto that ladder stitch. So right now what I'm going to do is, now that I'm done that one side, I'm going to attach the other side. One thing when you're working with the clasp here with the bar clasp. You want to make sure that you put it on the right way. There's nothing more discouraging than when you get done and realize that you've attached it the wrong way and there's no way to get it together. So my first stitch, I'm 
actually going to start with it attached to the other side. So I'm going to take my thread here and to start I'm going to go back through one of the beads that's next to it. If I go back through this bead that will fall off. So I'm going to go back through this bead here and then I'm going to follow my thread line along the side here and I am going to sew down through my bead. I want these to match on the sides and line up so when I'm doing this here I want to make sure that I start in the same place that I started on the other side. I'm going to go sew through my clasp and that way I know where I am and then what I'm going to do is detach my clasp, my bar clasp and slide it apart so that way I only have to work with one end now but I know that it's on the correct way. So I'm going to take my thread, sew through my check glass bead, just as I did on the other side. And once I sew through that bead, I'm going to sew through my next loop of my bar clasp. Sew through my check glass. Back through my next end of my bar clasp. So it's just a repeat of the first side. You can see I'm not pulling too tightly right now. Um, I'll do that once I get to the end of my row. There's my clasp, I'm going on my last loop. And at this point now I'll give it a nice little tight tug. I'm sewing back through the check glass. And as I come out between them, I'm gonna sew through that loop on the bar. And then back through the next check glass bead. And back through. And just to give you guys an idea, um, this loom project, probably took about 40 minutes um, to do and my husband actually did this one so it's pretty easy and you sew through and put it on. The nice thing is this was a nice long project um, width wise but short time wise. As I go here I'm going to do one more row and then what I'm going to do is sew my thread off on the side here so that way it gets kind of disguised and I don't see it. And I'm gonna sew through my check glass beads one more time and loop through. So this is gonna make three times. It's the same that I did on the other side. I'm going through the clasp three times as I'm sewing through. So that way it really enforces that clasp on. Sewing back through the next check glass bead. And then as I get to the end here, I'm going to sew through my bar, through my check glass, the whole way to the end. That's going to have my bar attached to it. And then what I can do is do a sewer's knot and kind of tie off right here. I'm sewing through the side thread, through the side warp thread, and then pulling my knot onto the side. I'm just doing a half hitch knot here. Nice and tight. And then I'm going to sew back through an entire row of my check glass beads. Down to the other side. And I'm going to sew through the next row as well. I'm going to continue to sew through, get rid of my thread and do those half hitch knots. But that's how you're going to attach that clasp.